Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News and True Philadelphian Sportscast. As I am starting to put this through Anchor again, so you can catch it on Spotify. True, uh, the True Philadelphian Sportscast stuff on Spotify, Apple Music, Radio Public, all that other good stuff. But there's going to be a short look ahead to the Phillies against Tampa. This is going to be the hardest game of the series. Uh, we have Vince Velasquez on the mound going against Charlie Morton. Normally our former pitchers pitch really well against us. But let's just get straight to the lineups. we got Kutch in left field batting first. Boom in... Uh, or at third base, excuse me, batting second. Harper is DHing tonight, hitting third to give him some rest from playing the field. And then we got Real Muto batting fourth at first base. Diddy Gregorius batting fifth at shortstop. Mean Gene Zagora batting sixth at second. Jay Bruce uh, in right field, hitting seventh. Nap at um, catcher, hitting eighth. And Scott Kingery in center field, hitting ninth. King May as Michael Barkham would say. Um, and then we have uh, Joey Wendell hitting first at second for Tampa. Um, Randy Arozarena, I think is how you say that, in left field hitting second for them. Nate Lau hitting third at DH. Willie Adams hitting fourth at shortstop. Kier Meyer in center hitting fifth. Mike Bersayu at third, hitting six. Hunter Renfro at first, hitting seventh. Brett Phillips, who they got from the Royals at eighth, uh, playing right field. And Mike Zunino at catcher, hitting ninth. Um, so even putting in some of their depth guys, they have really good guys, as we know. Part of what's hampered the Phillies is a lack of depth. Uh, key players for this game are going to have to be, of course, Bohm continuing to do his thing and uh, staple himself right there with um, Jay Cronenworth as a potential rookie of the year. Harper also needs to stay hot. He looked better in the last game of the series if they're not looking so good. But admitting that the only time his uh, back really bothers him is check swings. So hopefully he can get going. Diddy's got to stay consistent. We need to keep seeing good hitting from Gene. And then it would be nice if Kutch got back to going to where he was going and we got Bruce to see that power swing. He's one of the better hitters in the league like um, Corey Simon always tends to bring up um, with in terms of uh, at-bats per home run, but he hasn't been on point yet since coming back from injury. And we need Kingery to get going big time too, as well as a Hazley or a Quinn. We need someone of that grouping of three to really get going. But this has just been a quick look at it. I'm going to start making these shorter to see if people like them within three to five minutes. Uh, my stars of the game tonight are going to be Alec Bohm. I believe he's going to have a big game. I believe JT's going to have a big game at first, and I believe Didi's going to have a big game. So those would be my stars of the game. I also think Nap's going to call a good game and get a couple hits like he usually does. So those are my stars of the game. I believe if we can hit, we're going to have a chance to win this game. We're going to have to out-hit them because I don't think Vinny's going to pitch a great game against Tampa. They're a great fastball-hitting team, so that does not spell well uh, for him pitching against them. But I think we have a chance to out-hit them. But this has been Sports Fanatic News and True Philadelphia Sportscast. This has been Joey's look ahead to Phillies and Tampa Game 1 of a pivotal playoff-level series as the Phillies look to somehow find their way to get into the postseason after kind of screwing up this month and finding their ways on the outside looking in at this point. So have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. Go Phillies. Please ring that bell, and let's get going, and let's win three in a row, four total in a row, but three in a row against a very good team in Tampa Bay and try to get into that postseason and cross our fingers. All the other things we need to happen, happen. So peace out, everybody. I'm Joe Border for Sports Fact News and True Philadelphia Sports Care. Enjoy the game.